One more thing before I start this video, make sure you guys have joined both the Discord servers in the description below. We have a COD Mobile glitching server as well as a Cold War glitching server, both of which are extremely active. Also, if you want to, consider joining the channel as we have many perks to choose from. Yo, what's going on guys? Today I have another Call of Duty Mobile glitch video for you today. This is going to be all of the best working glitches on Hackney Yard as well as Terminal. And I also have some exclusive Nunchuck gameplay that I didn't show on the shorts video, but I figured I would show in this video. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. So the first spot here is pretty simple. You really don't need anything. All you need um, is to just come inside of the building right here and then edge your way around and get on this ledge right here. You may have to actually jump once to get on it, but once you're on the ledge, it's a pretty sick advantage point over the B flag and you can actually get on top of the wooden planks right here and stand and have a pretty decent ledge to um, have an advantage point as well as a height advantage over. Spot here is actually going to be quite difficult. This was found by Pyro Central right when the map dropped, so huge shout out to him. Um, all you need is a shield, and you're gonna want to place it so that it's exactly like I do in the video, and then get on top of these extended part, and then get on here. You're gonna want to be careful when you're up here because some of it is fake, but the main part that I stand on is real. Um, this is an insane glitch, and this is kind of an after patch because they did fix the old way to get up here, which was just gravity spiking from the other um, little crane thing. The next spot here you also don't need anything, it's in the same building with B flag as before. All you need is to just come over here and edge around the other way. It's kind of the literal opposite side of the building, just do the same exact thing and you have some pretty dope advantage points over the other people and some pretty dope ledges to stand on. Now the next spot here, it seems like they tried to actually go ahead and fix this, but they kind of failed. You can't gravity spike in to get fully in like you used to, but to actually get around that, you just need a shield turret and a shield. If you want to get in here with nothing, all you need to do is just prone like the old way. And if you want to gravity spike, it does launch you a little bit further in there. It actually brings you your whole body up so that you're halfway sticking out, as opposed to if you don't gravity spike, you're kind of just continuously falling to the ground or you're already just standing on the ground. It's a really weird glitch to be really honest. The next spot is one of the first ledges that I've shared, and I've shared this glitch probably a thousand times. I know you guys love it. It's, it is one of the most insane ledges that I've found on Hackney Yard, and it is one of the easiest ones, and uh, you can see over the entire map if you have a sniper, and if you have an assault rifle, this is a pretty guaranteed, uh, pretty good shot of getting some nice kills with this as well. I'm blue without your face, what can I do? 
The next spot here is the gravity spike on top of the map. This is one of the only on top of maps that still work. They literally patched off every single other one. The tower, two sides of the building in the back of the map on the opposite side, those are patched. Um, the other main, like one of the first on top of maps that was found, they just patched everything. That's all you guys really need to know. This is one of the only ones that really still works, but it's one of the most cool ones you would see in my opinion. So now we are on terminal here and um, these spots are pretty dope. I just want to say with this first one, I was a big noob and I hit the death barrier before I was able to drop down, but I will link a link in the description to the solo video of the spot. It is insane and you can actually get down into behind the glass. So if you want to do that, you can. This spot is very insane and all you need is two gravity spikes. I had someone comment on my video saying that it's in impractical, but it's only impractical if you're actually really bad at the game. If you guys would consider one glitch in this video to be impractical online, it's going to be this one, but this one is the most insane one in this whole video because you can get fully on top of the map. And if you wanted to, you could try to get out of the map. It is not possible uh, as far as I know, but you, you can try and jump out of the map if you want to, but you can get on top of this whole plane wing. All you need to do, grab the spike on the spot. You see me do a little sticking out metal piece uh, on the plane wing, and then you're just gonna wanna start jumping on the barrier, like the Nuketown glitch for like, did this glitch if you've seen it before um, it's not patched it still works and yeah You guys had to expect that I was gonna throw a shield turret glitch in here. Um, I just wanted to put one because I thought this one was really cool and Terminal didn't have too many insane OP glitches on it. So this one was definitely cool to throw in here. Um, this spot, all you need, like I said, is a shield turret. Come to the back map like me do. And you are in a pretty cool secret room. You can get to some, um, you can actually try and get out of the map from here, but it's not possible again. It's just a cool secret room to actually sit in and pick people off because it is a main track point in the map, believe it or not.
These next two spots are uh, more of just super cool advantage points slash hiding spots, but I would still consider them glitches because there's just no way that you should actually be allowed to sit up here. They're in the back of the map, right by the sea flag. All you need to do is just run and jump corner, get on top of the first metal detector, and then get on top of the actual whole thing that <laughs> the security pavilion, I don't know what it's called. I'm really bad with names. You just want to get on top of this thingy here and boom, you're set on top of the glitch. <laughs> Now here we have some nunchucks gameplay, like I said I was going to do this for you guys. Um, I don't have too much of footage, but um, if you guys really want, I can definitely stream some extra intense if you guys really want to see it, but um, I just figured I would hook you guys up with a few minutes of gameplay, it's all you guys really would want to see I figured. And yeah, so if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. One thing I want to say about the nunchucks before I head out of here is, they are insane, but it seems like the fire rate might need to be improved a little bit, the distance on them is insane so i hope you guys did enjoy and peace